Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and we have two new Humble Bundles of interest to game developers, specifically the programmers amongst us. The first one is a book bundle, a collection of Python-related books. The second one is a series of .NET, c -sharp, TypeScript, that kind of stuff, books. And we're going to jump in and take a look at both of them, starting with the Python one. The first one is Python by No Starch Press. If you do not know how Humble Bundle works yet, basically it's a collection of stuff, in this case ebooks, organized around a theme, in this case Python. Uh, you can buy it in various different tiers. You buy a higher dollar value tier, you get all the stuff below it. You decide how your money is allocated between Humble, Charity, the publisher, and if you so choose. And thank you so much if you do to help support Game From Scratch. This first bundle, the uh, Python by No Starch Press bundle, is a collection of books from No Starch Press. No Starch Press books are quite good, but I gotta tell you straight up, this book, all of the books in this bundle have been in previous bundles. So uh, do make sure that you don't already buy something you already own. Uh, we got the $1 tier here. You're getting the Python playground and doing math with python that one could definitely be useful if you're on the uh the beginner side of math uh, algebra is basically the the basis of game development math although don't keep don't think for a second this is about game math but it should show you how to use it with python at the very least next up we jump to uh invent your own computer games with python uh, this is aimed at more of the entry level. It's making games such as like Hangman, etc., but could still be a good introduction. Uh, cracking codes with Python, an introduction to building and breaking ciphers. Uh, impractical Python projects, serious Python. Uh, so that's kind of your next step level. Uh, and then the two that we talked in the previous category, we jump up to the next tier. You're getting real world Python, beyond the basic stuff with Python, Python one-liners, um, learn to solve, learn to code by solving problems, dive into algorithms. Of course, algorithms are always useful. Uh, learn Python visually, uh, practical deep learning, and then all the other books we just talked about. And then finally, at the full bundle, uh, which looks, looks like $30 USD, you're getting a Python crash course, automate the boring stuff with Python, make Python talk, uh, object-oriented Python, the big book of small Python projects, and uh, think that's where we repeat. So everything else. So at the... Uh, uh, $30 tier, you're getting 18 ebooks here for $30 USD. They normally have about 15 bucks a piece. So if there are two books here, the entire bundle is worthwhile. Um, strangely enough, this is one of the first times the more um, lower intermediate level bundle, so this would be about $9 USD, uh, is probably one of the ones I would recommend. Because here you're getting uh, basically math, an introduction to, to Python itself, uh, moving up from there, and then the... Um, computer games with python book in there uh but all told if you are looking to get python this will give you a pretty solid bookshelf um of books available they're available in all three major formats by the way pdf epub and mobi format so no matter what reader you're using you should be fine uh, you can also download them as many times as you want from the humble um servers now the next stuff we have is mastering microsoft development this time it's a press a press tends to be okay I don't know if is, is Sam's A Press, A Press Sam's. I, I'm not sure. Sam's went away and A Press is still around. I got a feeling that they're they're a follow of each other, but let me know in the comments down below if you actually know for sure. Uh, here again, organized into bundles. The top tier bundle is $15 USD, so definitely a cheaper bundle in this case. Uh, at the $1 tier, you get practicalpaint.net. <laughs> By the way, I love paint.net. I don't really know that it's got anything to do with .NET in general, other than it's got .NET in the name, but it is an exceptionally good free paint application. Uh, if you have never used it before. Um, beginning gRPC with ASP.NET Core 6, introducing .NET for Apache Spark and C Sharp for absolute beginners. Again, a genuinely useful $1 tier in this bundle because uh, I think a lot of people would be like, wanting to learn C-sharp, and you get that book right here at the uh, the entry level. Next tier up, we're looking at about $9 USD right now. Uh, you're now getting Lean Software Systems Engineering for developers, introducing distributed application uh, runtime, pro cryptography and crypto analysis, stylish F-sharp, uh, pro microservices in .NET 6, and essential ASP.NET web forms development, uh, building single page applications in .NET Core 3, ML.NET uh, revealed, Microsoft Blazor, which by the way is a uh, web framework, uh, Practical Entity Framework Core 6, and then the other books. So this tier, at least from a game development perspective, unless you want to pick up F-sharp, when F-sharp's not really a game development language, not a lot there added over the $1 tier. And then we come here into the full fat tier for $15 USD. You're getting 26 books, uh, including Azure API Management, Introducing .NET 6, Pro ASP.NET Core 6, Essential TypeScript 4, Quantum Computing for Developers, 
ASP.NET Core 3 API tutorial, advanced ASP.NET Core 3 security, hands-on GitHub actions, .NET developer guide to augmented reality and iOS, some very random stuff. Uh, Microsoft conversational AI platform developer for developers, um, Visual Studio Code Distilled. Visual Studio Code is actually one of like the most popular editors out there. So that could be an interesting read for some people. Uh, Pro ASP.NET Core Identity and Lean Systems Engineering for Development. And then everything else is a repeat. So a lot of this is more web focused in its uh, nature. But the things books you may find useful are uh, Interesting.NET 6, TypeScript 4. TypeScript is a great little language, by the way. I'm highly a fan of it. Um, if you're doing AI develop, uh, sorry, uh, augmented reality development on iOS, that is a very specific book. Um, Visual Studio Code book, uh, F Sharp book potentially, um, Paint.net, oddly enough, and then C Sharp for absolute beginners. Weird, there's not a lot of C Sharp content in here. There's not a, a next tier or next level up book for C Sharp, but if you're using Unity or something, you wanna have a primer book for C Sharp, hey, it's a buck. Uh, so again, this is one of those few times where both of the Humble Bundles, the, the entry level tiers are probably the most appealing. So in this particular case, the $1 tier, if you're interested in learning C Sharp a bit better, uh, could be a good pickup. Again, it's nice to see um, the potential of the book in here for, oh, is it, oh it's in the full fat tier. Uh, but the Visual Studio Code book could be another one that's interesting. There's a lot more to Visual Studio Code than you probably realize. Uh, unfortunately, again, Wow, that is so weird. Get you up to speed quickly writing apps with Python and building for the cloud and deployment to Azure. That just sounds like the wrong description for this particular book. Uh, anyways, it, it's um, it, it's an interesting collection of books. And in this case, again, the one that I actually like the best in this one uh, is this bundle right here for nine bucks. Uh, but if you're into Python, there's a pretty good swath of Python knowledge there. Uh, if you're into .NET, C Sharp, TypeScript, etc., there is this one here. And by the way, there are a couple of other Humble Bundles going on right now. You may be interested in and I actually covered them. Uh, the Learn, um, the GameDev.NET course for Unreal Engine, uh, that one ends in two days. I'll throw a link for it down below. And the Game Dev Toolbox one, that's the one with Pixel Mash RPG tools and what the heck is children game music? Uh, anyways, that one is still running. There is a set of icons, one running for a little bit longer. Um, and then I didn't cover this one at all because in all honesty, the Asham Poo stuff looks kind of crap. Uh, but there's also this um, bundle going on for CAD related software. Um, I don't, I don't have any opinion on any other stuff. I don't know uh, how related this CAD stuff would be to game development, so I didn't bother mentioning it at all. Uh, but that bundle is out there as well. So if you're in the market for CAD software, uh, there's that guy there. And then finally, there's also the, the Sound Loops one going on, which includes Mixcraft 9. Daw, I covered that a long time ago. I love Mixcraft 9. Uh, only a little bit of time left on that one as well. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We have a Python book bundle and a .NET book bundle going on in addition to the other bundles we just mentioned. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.